What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video. We're going to dig in a little bit into the vault. And we're going to show you this sneaker as if it came out in 2006. Right? Now, I have worn this shoe. But for the most part, it's in prestige condition. So I'm super thankful for that. Well, you're able to see the sneaker. One of its best forms. Right? I'm going to show you the box. This is the Jordan 21. This is, I believe, the first release. So many dope releases. I actually have the black metallic silver right to the right of me. And then I have a black and red version of the shoe, which is really nice, all suede. And that's from the countdown back. So I believe those are the only three that I have. Of course, the most popular version, maybe this one, I think even surpassing this one, is the old red suede because that suede was ridiculous how nice it was. So that was kind of the start of the popularity of all red sneakers. All right, let's get into the shoe. So we had the box. This box has seen better days. You do have the 21 a little bit on the bottom, right? And then on this side, you do have the label. That's gonna tell you the colorway, of course, because at one point, I never had drop boxes and stuff like that. So I had taken pictures or use stock photos from Google and just slap them on the box so I know what shoes what, right? Now we have the Air Jordan 21. It was $175 to give you context. If this came out in February 2006, now the Jordan 37 is $185. So only $10, shit, almost 20 a difference. <laughs> so that's how far we come along. They've only raised the price 10 bucks for the flagship model. Now, they beat us in the head for all of these other fucking models. But that's a whole different conversation. Colorway, white, varsity red, metallic silver. All right, let's take a look. So we open the box. And we have this beautiful packaging. First off, the lining is kind of like sublimated with some sort of design, the infinity symbol. And it's constantly like doing that. So basically this symbol here is all throughout the box in the interior. And then we have the specs. So again, a lot of nice details. First thing we have is the IPS. So really quick, I'm gonna show this to you. You guys can screenshot it so you can see what it says. But it gives you a breakdown of all the tech being used in the Jordan 21, right? So we have independent podular suspension. We have quilted lining, the grill, herringbone, carbon fiber plate. So a lot of dope shit, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> they actually done a couple of things differently. And I believe this is the first Jordan where we will see pods, right? So the Jordan 22 will have pods as well. The Jordan 23 didn't. So the 21 and the 22 will actually have cushioning pods super sick man and they'll come in this nice little bag too like it's a cool jordan bag just to even have as an accessory so really quick we take a look at this pouch right really cool blah 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 and then you have your air pod in here right this one i'm assuming is for a nine and ten size foot as you can see it's super cloudy the air unit still works though still air in there and same goes for this one right so and then on the bottom you have your jumpman logo so super dope man and then let's take out the sneakers now i don't want to show the person's address of who actually bought it i'm not the original owner i bought this some years ago so maybe i would say if i had to guess maybe eight years ago and whoever sold it to me on ebay actually kept their east babe receipt so i don't want to put their information although i'm sure they moved you can see the east bay on the tab and it shows you the price of the sneaker um, six dollars for uh shipping and handling no tax pretty cool All right 179.99 Let's take a look at the kicks. Now I told you I wore this before, but this rubber is like super durable. 
and you can see that same traction pattern that we see on the inside of the box. Let me put the box in a way where you guys can see it. Right. So there's that. And then let me take out both shoes. Okay, so the grill is inspired from luxury models. The leather on this is really, really nice. This is a clean colorway with the red laces. I mean, come on, man. Come on. This just looks so nice. You have like a belt buckle <laughs> uh, tab to put your sneakers in when you lace them. So that's pretty dope. I believe there's a couple of other models the Jordan 20 had something similar to this as well. But the mesh grills, man, look at those mesh grills. And when I say it has a metallic looking finish, who knows if it's metallic or not, but super dope. We have a embossed 23, really nicely done. Almost gives you that like pop of the Jordan 5. And then on the back, you have this beautifully done this is like the jordan 13 bullshit ass suede so it's like a felt really it's not a real suede but you know they try and then you have a mesh grill on the interior now i don't have a black light in this room in particular but i do have a black light it's upstairs i'm not gonna get it now but on this side and i'm put a picture up you actually see the message when you put the black light on it. It's super cool, right? Super dope. And you can see the styrofoam cutout of, <laughs> of that hole. Red and black carbon fiber plate. I love the red and black carbon fiber plate. Mesh grill again. I love the piping, how it comes through. And this is gonna keep you locked down, of course, when you're playing. And then we talk about the quilted interior look how beautiful that looks very luxurious hits right we have the emboss 21 on the tongue very nicely done this one says authentic on the back and then on the tongue itself we have a nice thick padding silver jump man on the tongue red laces really set this off and then you have these metal aglets with the Jumpman logo. Very nice. And what's cool about these aglets is they're shaped in a way where you could only put them in one kind of way. So I, I can't put them in like this. I'd have to turn it and put the laces in and the aglets in one way only, right? So <laughs> very thoughtful. We take a look at the bed lining, right? And then, if we pull this out, you see a zoom pod on the inside, right? How fucking cool is that, man? Let me try to take it out. It may not work. That's okay. I don't have like, really long nails. I'm going to show this to you the best I can, but you can see it. That's a zoom pod double stacked. So what you do is, depending on the type of player you are, and you could see the Jumpman logo on that zoom pod. So where is the bat? Zoom, I think is a way more superior technology. Nike and Jordan, they try to cater air units to bigger players. So although zoom units work for bigger players as well air units to bigger players like david robertson charles barkley stuff like that so basically you pop that out put this in and now underneath you'll have a black Jumpman pod underneath and you can see it through the window right so that's pretty dope my heat's coming on so pardon me you know it's super cold in new york city right now what else we got so we have the independent podular suspension, that is this here. Now, this is a technology I'm not really in love with. The Jordan 20 uses the same technology, but throughout. It actually has no zoom at all. So again, it's one of those things. I'm not a big fan of it. To me, it kind of reminds me of the Vince Carter shocks, 
where it was supposed to do something and it never really did. It's hard to break in. Again, I've had fresh pairs of 20s and it wasn't something spectacular. Zoom is by far the best quality cushioning system that I think you can get. All right, I'm gonna shut this off for a little bit and then we'll get back to this video because I just wanna wait until my heat calms down, right? So give me a sec. So there you have it, guys. This is the Jordan 21, which I think is definitely one of the more nicer looking Jordans past 14. I know everybody hates these, hates Jordans in general past 14. To me, these are one of the more dope luxury models. And just look how beautiful this is, man. <laughs> this is such a clean sneaker. I think a lot more respect should be paid to these Jordan 21s. But it'll never happen because he never wore them on court. And anything he never wore as a bull just isn't as popular for obvious reasons. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We out. Peace.